This is the drone which I modified to be a flower dropping drone. And this is the box that is attached to the drone. It has 3 compartments for the flowers and 3 lids which are individually controlled and opened for consistent flower showering for a long time. And to open and close the lids, we have a small 9 gram sorbo attached with the lever. And since the lids are opened in a sequence, I have an Arduino Pro Mini attached here which perform all the sequential opening and closing tasks. And above that, we have a step down converter that provides 5V for the Arduino and the servos. We still have the servo wire to take input from the radio receiver or the flight controller. And this is all that we have in the box. Now let's quickly see over its functional diagram. So the remote control or the mission in autonomous mission uh, would give the lead open command to the flight controller which our case is Pixoc. Then the Pixoc flight controller would forward the command to the Arduino Pro Mini microcontroller unit and the Arduino would process the command and control the three servos in a sequence to open and close the leads. One additional feature is introduced here that we also have a push button attached to the Arduino so even without using a flight controller or a radio receiver we can open or close the leads. Uh, so have a look at this small demo uh, while this is not attached to the drone. I first uh, connect the power to the step down converter then with a double press of the button the lid opens. Have a look at this. The two side lids open slowly at the first then the central lid opens. And while closing the central lid closes first then the other two lids close. Uh, this is why I have an Arduino to control each servo individually. And the last thing to mention is that this would operate the same when the servo signal is passed through the wire. Now let's quickly hop onto its building procedures. I wanted my box to be as large as possible while also being extremely light and what else could be more useful than some hard foam. I got this residual foam from a nearby college that has already got airfoil out of it. However, I would be still able to extract some of the required foam out of this. Uh, and have a look at this, the slicing of the foam with the hot wire cutter looks so satisfying, isn't it? And after we sliced uh, the foam to the seeds, I marked the dimensions onto the foam. I am really surprised by how light and strong this is. I used a box cutter knife to slice the foam into correct dimensions and to mention it cuts so smooth, just like a water. And just like that, these all are ready. And by the way, the dimensions, the circuit diagram, the code and the complete instructions are available in the video description and on my instructable page. So be sure to follow. I then started gluing the side pieces to the base with the help of some wood glue because we cannot actually use super glue or fairy pick here because uh, those will simply melt the foam. And here I used a 90 degree ruler uh, because it is mandatory to make out a straight piece. Uh, this wood glue was too slow to stick so I used some hot glue to hold the parts into place. Uh, and because the foam is a perfect insulator, it takes heck a lot of time to cure. Uh, and after securing that one side, I did the same thing to the other pieces and stick them one by one. After that, I cleared all the extra foam that was hanging away from the body. Then I used the same knife to make the rounded corners. After those were brought into shape, I used a 60 grit sanding paper to further refine the shape. And after all those sanding, this is how it looks. Uh, I am making 3 sections here so the lid for each section would open individually and the flowers would drop slowly and steadily. I took a piece of foam and cut it in such a way that it just covers the first section. 
then I used some masking tape to make the hinges for it. And after taping on the both sides, it works great by the way. I did the same thing on the other side and here are both leads working perfectly. Now I want to add this piece for the middle section which would open from the other side. The two side leads can then press on the middle and provide the necessary support when this would be loaded with flowers. It was already slanted on the one side so I am doing the same to the other side so that there will be no gap left when closed. The foam is soft and easy to work with. I was able to easily shape the foam with just a sandpaper. After that, I did the same thing to make the hinge and the lid assembly is also done. All we need now are some motors that will open and close the lids. This is an aluminum T-section and I plan to use this as a lever on which the motors will be attached and would prevent the foam from any stress. I cut out a section in the middle of the foam and use some glue on the aluminum to stick those. The aluminum T would take all the lateral stress preventing the foam from bending too much on the load. With the same aluminum, I also made mounting brackets for the 9 gram servos. I connected the link rod to the previously attached lever. And by the way, I am using the same aluminum with holes on the both ends to make the connecting rod. And as you can see, this works as expected. I can next add the servos and the best way I found was using the hot glue. Believe me, I did not find any better alternatives than this. Now I have to do the same thing to the other two sides. And this includes sticking the servo and connecting the servo and rod with connecting rods. Then after I began writing code for the Arduino. And yeah, I had to do a lot of googling and I had to learn how to control the servo, re uh, receive and process servo signals and so on. The coding alone took me more than 8 hours to complete. Take a lot of work but seeing your creation working gives you a next level of pleasure. And the amount of dopamine and oxytocin secretion that this pleasure gives is way higher than when you fall in love with a girl. So nibba and nibbies fall in love with the work and electronics and see your happiness level go up. <laughs> Just kidding, the programmers are like half dead depressed zombies who wake up all night. So here are all servo set and wired to the Arduino but all wiring is messed up. And look at this, I have also bought the red vinyl wrap that is generally used to wrap motorcycles. And with just a snap, it's all wrapped up and the wire is managed. So neat, isn't it? So this is a final test before adding this to the drone. As this works fine, I started removing my medical payload drop box. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to know was how much effect this would have on the flight of my drone. So looking from the current consumption, it consumes 0.61 amperes at 5 volt, which translates to uh, nearly 3 watts. So this would not have that much of an effect on the flight time. Also, if you look at its weight, the previous box weighed 410 grams, but the new box is only 280 grams. The new box is bigger, has larger internal volume, but is also 130 grams lighter. Now I'm 100% confident that this won't have that much of a bigger impact on flight time of my drone. Uh, so here are some close-up shots after I added my box.
at the end i would like to thank my patrons mr mohan karki mr ben rees and mr varun bosle thank you all for your amazing support see you all in my next video bye bye